Welcome to Cozy How To, your place for a snugly warm learning experience. This is lesson number seven for the Equus Shopping Cart software. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you a final example of a destination zone. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you log into the Equus Shopping Cart panel. And if you are, go to the upper right hand corner of your screen and click on the text that says System Settings. And once you click on that, I want you to go to the far left hand corner of your screen and you'll see a list of options in your navigation menu for system settings. You'll see general, zones, shipping, taxes, and so on. And you wanna make sure that you're under the page zones. If you're not, click on the button that says zones. When you click on zones, right beneath it, you should see the text destination zones. And that indicates that you're on a destination zones within system settings. And once you're on that page, I want you to look for the option United States within your zone names. And once you find that, left click on it, and the text should show as blue. In this case, United States is in blue, okay? So that indicates that you have it selected. So once you know that you have that selected, the next thing I want you to do is click on the button that says clear list, and that's gonna clear out the countries that we have in this table below. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click that, and it's gonna clear out the countries within that list. The next thing that I want you to do is click on the button that says add country. And when you click on add country, it's going to bring up the country options and we're going to click inside the filter list and we're going to type the word United. And we're going to add United States as our country. So click add country and it's going to add that. So this is an example that we created in lesson six or the first scenario that I showed you. In the first scenario, I told you that if you add just the country, it's going to automatically add all states and zip codes relevant to the United States. So let me go ahead and grab my pen tool here and I'll kind of go through what I mean. So once you add the United States as a country, by default, it's going to add all the states within the United States. So all of the states within the United States are going to be added by default even though it says no item selected it's going to add all states so no matter where the customer lives in the united states they're going to be able to have an item shipped to them no matter where they live um, also for for zip codes even though we don't have anything entered into the zip code box we're going to be able to ship to any place in the united states regardless of zip code okay so this is just like the first scenario i showed you in lesson number six. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out and we're going to go through the next example that I showed you in lesson six in the table. So now that we have a, a uh, country added, let's now add a state. So I'm going to click on the add state button and I'm going to add in uh, Michigan as the first example. And I'm going to click on the checkbox here and click add states. And now it's going to add Michigan as one of our states. So this was the second scenario that I showed you. And I'm going to go to my pen tool again. And I'm going to walk you through this scenario as well. So in this case, let's say that the customer lives in the United States. Great. They passed the first test or the first phase. Okay. But if the customer doesn't live in Michigan, let's say they don't live in Michigan, then we would not be able to ship that item to them. In other words, the way the Equus shopping cart system works is they have to pass each test in each phase. They pass the first test, they live in the United States, but since we only list, listed Michigan as our state and they don't live in that state, we will not be able to ship an item to them. So I highly recommend that you're careful about you know, adding states because if you wanna to ship to all states within the US, you don't wanna add anything under this section, okay? So let me go ahead and actually clear this out again. And I'm gonna go through the third scenario that we talked about. So in this case, I'm gonna now add another state. And I'm gonna add Texas as that state. And I'm gonna click the checkbox here. If it allows me, there we go, it works now. And then click on the button that says add states, okay? And I'm going to walk you through that last scenario. So in this case, the customer, let's assume, lives in the United States. And they don't live in Michigan, but they live 
in Texas. So in this case, because the customer lives in the United States and lives in Texas, we'll be able to ship that item to them, even though they don't live in Michigan. So as long as they live in one of these states, they'll be able to have that item shipped to them. So hopefully you understand, you know, the concept that I was trying to explain to you in lesson six, but through an example of looking at it in the Equus Shopping Cart uh, administration panel. Okay. So thanks for watching this video tutorial brought to you by Cozy How To, your place for a snugly warm learning experience. And don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.